Okay, so we're given a formula here, right, which converts um, Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay? Um, and then we're given a um, situation here where metal is heated to a temperature of 140 degrees. The F there obviously is for Fahrenheit, as it states here. What is this temperature in degrees Celsius? Now, if they're telling us the Fahrenheit temperature, I can actually substitute that into the formula, okay, because that's what the F represents, the Fahrenheit. So I can put 140 in, and it equals, and you're just sort of following the flow of that formula then, yeah? So it's the C is what we want to find out, because it says what's the temperature in degrees Celsius. So just copy the formula exactly as you see it. And then to work out C, we just need to do some algebra now, okay? So manipulation of this to determine what C is. Now, of course, the first thing I would do here is, right, I'd, I'd leave this as it is, but this plus 32 here, let's get that over the other side. And, of course, you take it away, won't you? Because you always do the opposite. When you take something over, you, you, you do the opposite, and it's going from a plus then to a minus. So if we work that out, 140 take away... 32, we get 108. Okay, so we've got 108 equals 9c divided by 5. Now I want c on its own, so let's think about how we can go about it. Well, let's take our time on it. You, this deal with this, we're dividing by 5, so take that 5 over next. Now, because we're dividing by it, when you take it over, of course, you're going to do the opposite and you're going to times. So 108 times 5 is 9c. So work that out, you get 540 equals 9C. And then you need, just need to appreciate, because it's 9C, that means 9 times C. Okay, so when you take that over, you do the opposite. And of course, instead of timesing now, we're going to divide. So 540 divided by 9 will equal to C. So then C works out to be 60 degrees, okay? So 60 degrees Celsius is the what 140 degrees Fahrenheit is.